This tutorial is about uh, plotting IV Cara of MOSFET that is NMOS and PMOS in Cadence. So we will plot the ID versus VGS and uh, ID versus VGS and ID versus v VDS for different parameters. First of all, uh, make a schematic and uh, first let us plot the NMOS Cara first for this insert a NMOS So I give the width of the NMOS as 2 micro and the length of the NMOS uh, 1 micro. I give the width 5 and the length 1. Place that we need VDS and VGS to vary. So we need 2 voltage sources and uh, from the analog library we can take VDC. So DC voltage uh, let's put it 3.3 volt so this will act as our VDS and this will act as our VGS and I need a ground so I want the bulk connection bulk I want to be I want to connect to ground and the drain to this and the gate to this. Now we are ready to go. So I just want the label this as V underscore DS. So we can call it as VDS and uh, this one I want V underscore GS so that we can call it as VGS so first I am plotting ID versus VGS for a particular VDS so select the DC and uh, select component parameter first i am plotting id versus vgs so in the x axis it will be vgs so here in the dc ship i want to select the vgs so the, i selected the dc value of the vgs to change i want this to change from 0 to 3.3 .3. if we want you can give the step size and those things but I leave it to cadence so that it will take automatically so we did the sweep and now I want which uh, parameter to be plotted I want the ID to be plotted so output to be plotted select from schematic I select the ID so you can see it appeared here so ID will be plotted uh, in the Y axis and uh, the the parameter that we gave in the sweep DC sweep that is VGS so it will be plotted in the X axis so let's plot that so we got this Kara uh, that uh, Y axis is the ID and X axis is VGS now if I want to repeat the same plot for different values of VDS that means id versus vgs curve for different values of vds uh, i have to use parametric analysis for that uh, the vds value instead of giving a fixed value i am giving uh, a parameter name any name you can give i am giving v vds is the parameter i am giving 
so you can that variable we gave as vvds you can uh, right click on this portion and you can copy from cell view that variable you can copy to the unlock design environment so it appeared here so you can give any default any value here and the simulation will will give exactly the same thing now you want to say uh, the curve is the graph is now id versus vgs now we want to plot the same for different values of vds so go to the tools parametric analysis and uh, vvds is the parameter that we give for vg uh, vds so i want the vds to change from 1 to uh, 3.3 volt uh, step mode or, or auto is fine i need uh, okay i need four curve so it will simulate four times uh, uh, with voltage from 1 to 3.3 uh, it will sweep the voltage so this is the curve for id versus vgs for different values of vds for an nmos so you can observe the threshold voltage here uh, if the if the vgs x axis is the vgs if the vgs is uh, below 0.5 or even 0 0.6 uh, you, you, there is no current at all so if the vgs is crossing the uh, if it, vgs is approaching 0 0.6 then there is 3 micro ampere type of uh, magnitude of current so you can say the threshold voltage is very near to uh, say uh, 600 millivolt now we can plot the ID versus VDS curve for different values of VGS. For that, we have to change the sweep parameter because whatever we give in the DC sweep, it will come in the X axis. So now in the X axis, we want VDS. So select component, I want VDS in the X axis now. Zero to three point three is fine. Okay let's plot it let's run the simulation so we will get one curve uh, with the uh, id versus vds now i want to repeat the curve for different values of vgs for that i have to give the vgs as a parameter so the dc value i give v vgs and similarly i can I, I should bring this here also now go to the tools parametric analysis you select the vgs now now i want the vgs to vary from 1.5 to 3 uh, with the step total steps 3 or i can give the linear steps and step size 0.5 i can give and let's run the simulation now you can see the graph of id versus vds for different values of vgs now you can see uh, this this part is the linear region when the VDS is increasing, ID is also increasing almost linearly. And when the curve is flat, uh, then uh, we can say the MOSFET is in saturation. So the curve, for the first curve, the MOSFET is in saturation when VDS is greater than or equal to VGS minus VT. So for the first curve, you can see from this point onwards, uh, the MOSFET is in saturation. For the second curve, the saturation point is near here, near here you can say, and for this curve it is it will be here, and for this curve it will be here. So this is uh, exactly like what we expected. Uh, this is the VDS versus ID versus VDS curve for different values of VGS. Now let's uh, we did the plot for the NMOS.
uh, we can do the similar plot for PMOS also uh, I'm doing it on the same schematic uh, instead of the NMOS I want a PMOS now same uh, dimension I'm using but uh, for the PMOS the body is connected to VDD not to the ground body is connected to the highest potential in the circuit so body is connected to VDS and the source I grounded and instead of giving this in between here I give the VGS here because this is the source Uh, for this, let's repeat the same uh, same simulation, same plot. This is the ID versus VDS uh, curve for the PMOS. If you want ID versus VDS curve for different values of VGS, you have to do the parametric analysis. We already did all this for NMOS. So we have all these variables here. So we just want have to do the simulation. So this plot is ID versus VDS. So VDS appeared in the X axis. Now I want to do the parametric analysis for VGS. So I want the VGS to change from, from 1.5 to 3.3. Uh, I'm giving only automatic steps of four and run the simulation. So this is the ID versus VDS curve for the PMOS for different uh, VGS values. As the case of NMOS, we can also say uh, this is the point where it is entering to saturation. The flat region means uh, the MOSFET is in saturation. And uh, if it is kind of linear, that means uh, if the voltage, if the current increases with respect to voltage, then we can say the uh, MOSFET is in linear region. Now uh, we want to plot the ID versus VGS for PMOS. Uh, for that, if ID versus V, if ID versus VGS to happen, the VGS should appear in the x-axis. For that, we have to give the VGS in the DC chip. So in the DC chip, select the component, and I selected the VGS. DC values of the VGS I selected and uh, this is okay we need just the automatic is okay save the sim uh, schematic and run the simulation now we got this uh, ID versus VGS for the PMOS you, you can see initially when the VGS is up to 1 volt, uh, there is no current. If the VGS is uh, above the threshold voltage, then only some current is appearing. So you can see the threshold voltage is here, near to uh, near to 800 millivolt, you can say, is the threshold voltage. Now, if you, if you want the ID versus VGS curve for different values of VDS, you have to run the parametric analysis for VDS. So that VDS value, you can you can use the same uh, values here. Let's run. So this is the ID versus VGS curve for different values of VDS. So I am stopping the simulation here, this tutorial here and thank you for watching.